Hello everyone, and thank you for joining us today. Right now, we're going to be going over the game Rocket League. For those who are unfamiliar with Rocket League, it is a 3v3 vehicular soccer video game where players must work together to score goals on the opposing team while defending their own goal, collecting boosts, and working together to set up some amazing tricks. At the start of every match and every kickoff, players will all be randomly placed into one of five areas on their side of the map. The timer counts down and the match starts. During this time, there are boost pads laid around the map for players to collect and fill their boost meter. There are six boost orb pads spread throughout the sides and corners of the map that players can collect to fill 100% of their meter while standard boost pads fill a player's meter by 12%. At the start of every match or kickoff, every player is automatically given 33% of their boost meter. With boost, players can get across the map faster, stay in the air longer, and blow up opposing players to put them out of the game for a few seconds and reset their position and boost. Some other important mechanics of Rocket League are jumps and flips. These mechanics allow the players to hit the ball before it touches the ground or give the ball an extra push it needs to score a goal. After a player jumps, they have one and a half seconds to hit the jump button again to perform a flip in the desired location that they want. Much like soccer, the main goal of the game is to have more goals than your opponents by the end of the five minute timer. If there is a tie, then the game will go into overtime and will not end until a score is made in one team's goal, awarding the win to the opposing team. And hello everybody, welcome back to another installment of UCM Rocket League. Today we're going to have UCM Red Squad going up against MACU as we get into the thick of this season and the really grind time of this season. Let's see if UCM Red Squad can begin to build, a mom build their momentum towards these playoffs and make a run. Let's check out the starting lineup for this Red Squad. We're going to have none other than... Bruck Danger starting us out as the first man in the rotation. Donkers, the captain, and Sinbad rounding us out as the third man in the rotation. Our players are in the lobby and ready to go, so let's get right to the game. And as we start, Bruck Danger wins the kickoff. Wins it pretty handily and looking to get UCM going pretty quickly. UCM putting some pressure on early. That ball is going to drop down to, to Sinbad. But he can't do anything with it. Donker's going to take it across the wall. Might look for a pinch to get a good clear. But MACU's right there. Sinbad gets beat on the ball. But no real pressure coming out for MACU as we start off. Both teams just sort of feeling each other out. But that's an open net. Just wide left. MACU might might have been pushing up a little too far and got lucky on that shot. A good clear from UCM, though. That ball is going to be centered. And MACU looking to get on the attack, but UCM Reds' defense is looking pretty good as of now. They started off that game with Brooks' nice kickoff. And since then, MACU hasn't really done anything. Rick Sue for MACU trying to get it over, but UCM's right there to stop that. And Bruck takes that up the wall. Looks for a center ball, but doesn't have anything going. This game really not enticing any any high-scoring, fast-paced motion. But UCM, like I said, just feeling it out, seeing what they got. Bruck puts a shot on net. That might go home, but that's just wide left. MACU gets clear to the midfield, and they're there. Donkers is there on the early challenge to keep this pressure on. UCM stealing a lot of boost from that MACU side. Good redirect from Donkers. Or, yeah, excuse me, Donkers. Bruck's going to slow play this with Donkers. Donkers once again take, tries to take it to the wall, but just can't get anything going. MACU got boost, and they're trying to put the pressure on UCM and flip the script from what this started. Oh, and it's just a wide shot left again. Good contest from UCM, but definitely a close call. And a good clear. MACU... A lot of wall play in this game. A lot of a lot of infield passes. But like I said, no real pressure coming out from either team's almost halfway through this game with no goals. Somebody looking to open up the scoring. Riksu. I'm having a tough time saying his name. Riksu, excuse me. Looking for MACU to 
get something going. Donkers is there on the on the play. He's taking this. Looks to solo against three and get a goal, but can't get it. MACU locks that up. Lonely Siegel gets it past one, gets it past two. But still, nothing going for either team. Very slow-paced game, very methodical on both teams. Looking for the passing plays, looking for a wall play, maybe a little air dribble into a pass, something. And that's a good pass from Donkers to Sinbad, but they just can't finish it. Brooke in the middle, man, playing the third in the rotation. Can't get anything. That's a shot on net. It's left again. Every shot that both teams have had has seemed to miss left or they've been contested. Great defense from both teams, and that shot's going to go right over Brooke. Just under two minutes left. That scoring has opened up. MACU goes up by one. Definitely a bit of momentum for MACU, but in a game like Rocket League, momentum is very easily shifted. UCM has a lot of opportunities they can create and they can have within the last last minute and a half of this game. Bruck looking to get this. It gets over to Donkers. Plays out of the wall, but Donkers has no boost and gets demoed. UCM trying to get on the attack. Going to have to maybe reach out just a little bit more than they would like in comparison to their own methodical play. But anything for a little, little bit of momentum. Donkers puts a shot on net, and he puts that home off the backboard. A great shot, and that's going to tie the game up at one. Just under, just, just above a minute left. That's Like I said, a lot of momentum plays coming in, and Sinbad looking to play that over to Donkers. Maybe the 1-2-1. One, one. Nothing going. Brucks up early. Beats him onto the right corner. And UCM starting to pull out the guns. Risku. Gets set over Donkers, and just a little bit late of a challenge. It turns out to be detrimental for UCM. 2-1 MACU. Got about a minute left. Bruck tries to play that quick, puts that off the backboard. Nobody goes up early for MACU, or nobody plays that off the wall, I should say. But that's all good. High clear into the midfield. MACU's there up. Tries to put a shot on net, but can't get it going. That ball's rolling towards the net, but Sinbad's there on an easy save. Had to slow play it, get off the wall. Sinbad might be looking to center this one up. Tries to, but it gets pinched. And Donkers has to play it around and play it back to the right wall. With no boost, the ball's in the midfield. And UCM really going to have to extend if they want to want to pull out this win. In this game, MACU kind of seems to be turtling up, if you will, creating a shell around that goal to make sure that UCM doesn't have the opportunities they would really like. If UCM wants a really good opportunity to come their way. They're going to have to have somebody from MACU on the backboard, and they're going to have to beat that backboard player and get a hit off of that backboard. And here's an open net, but Lonely Seagulls there, a close call for UCM and MACU. Ball could have been very easily put in had Lonely Seagull not been there, and that is going to be the game. Imagine opportunity. Got it? Good. Now pursue it. Choose the right college to cultivate it. Discover your passion, your talent. Now share it, embrace it, go global. Find support, network, build your team. Set a goal, work hard, achieve it. Be proud of yourself, celebrate it. Discover UCM, discover opportunity in action. You don't want a piece of paper. You want an opportunity. The opportunity to lead, to innovate, to transform. The opportunity to excel beyond what you thought possible. At the University of Central Missouri, your goals are achievable because we give you more support so your ambition faces fewer obstacles. Embrace your potential with the backing of 150 years of academic excellence with undergraduate and graduate degrees available in Warrensburg, Lee Summit, and online. Discover UCM. Discover opportunity in action. And here we are back with game two, getting started pretty quickly. And MACU jumped out to a 1-0 lead in this series. UCM definitely had the momentum starting off in that first game. Brooke Danger won the kickoff, and nothing really happened for the first half of that game. Offensively or defensively, both teams were kind of just clearing it back and forth to each other, trying to just feel each other out. I mean, at the end of that game, we saw three goals within the last two minutes of the game. UCM definitely had a lot of pressure, definitely a lot of opportunities, but just couldn't find anything, couldn't put anything home. MACU defending their own goal with everything they had. All three players were back, no overextensions. And definitely just a lot of options for both teams to go with. And we get in this second game, once again, just seem to feel be feeling each other out, kind of just volleying back and forth. 
no hard clears, but a couple of steals, a couple of interceptions on passes, and otherwise, UCM, though, starting to get some pressure, building on this blue half, starting to steal a boost, Donkers with a hard challenge, but can't get it to go, Sinbad's going to follow that quickly, Bruck patrolling the midfield, waiting on that third touch, he's third man, he's going to hop in, Sinbad's going to put that in, and that's 1-0 UCM. And momentum starting to build for UCM. A lot of pressure on that on that Sirius. A lot of boost steals. MACU had nowhere to go. With UCM having that boost advantage, they are allowed, they can chase the ball however much they want. Two players can extend like Sinbad and Donkers did. And even if there is a clear, Bruck would have been there. A lot of just good, good IQ plays coming out from UCM. A lot of good rotational rotational strategy. That's definitely a momentum play. Sinbad looking to play this up the wall. Good challenge, though, from MACU. Plays it in the orange half. But once again, UCM with a hard clear. That ball's floating above the midfield in front of the goal, but nobody goes for UCM. MACU gets bumped. That's a good shot on net from UCM and a great save by Sinbad to keep that one out and keep UCM up. Halftime approaches, MACU still, just like in game one, really not able to have pressure. But as I say that, a great aerial passing play. 1-1, tied up in this second game of the series. That was a very good, very good control in the air, you know, with the with the touches going over towards the teammate for MACU. And overall, just a very beautiful passing play. UCM's in anybody is going to have a tough time reading a play like that. Very good play, but UCM's going to get that right back as halftime approaches. You know, very, very fast-paced back and forth once this once this scoring gets opened up for both teams, once they find out what they need to do in whatever game that they're playing in. They seem to have that very high-octane, high-powered velocity and that speed going back and forth. You know, we saw three goals in the last, in the last two minutes of that first game, and here we see – three goals within the succession of just above a minute. That's a great save by Donkers. It may see you with a lot of pressure, but it doesn't seem like they have any boost, and UCM can seem to corral this. A good challenge. The ball is going to play on the left side for UCM. Sid Ben's going to look to chase. Those aerial plays are the best sorts of clears in a game like this where the ball really isn't really isn't ping-ponging around, being volleyed at a at a high rate, as we see there with Bruck with a hard clear. But when that ball is staying on the ground a lot of the time, a lot of those infield passes maybe up the wall and out as we saw on that on that aerial goal for MACU. But when the ball is staying on the ground like it is, you definitely have a lot more space to take it up on the wall and get those plays that we saw. Sinbad playing that off the wall, but Donkers is also there. Going to leave an open net. Sinbad's going to have to get back. That ball is going to be top 90, but just out. Bruck plays it off of the backboard, and a close call for UCM. Donkers and Sinbad both went for that ball, maybe a miscommunication, and it was almost slotted by MACU. A team pinch, that's going to be hard clear, and another one on net. MACU with some opportunities opening up, but UCM is holding true. Donkers plays this into the air. Nobody challenges. Looks for a flip reset. Gets it, okay, but can't play it over and get the second touch. A very hard mechanic to do. Donkers would have got that second touch. It would have been a very nice, clean play. But that's going to be a goal for MACU. Nobody gets back for UCM and a great pass as the rotation was coming in from Bruck and Sinbad. 2-2, just under a minute. UCM's going to need something going if they want to if they want to keep this, or not keep, but begin to, bring this momentum over to their side in this series. It may see you with a 1-0 lead. Definitely looking to put on pressure, but not a lot of boost for Lonely Seagull as the front man. Sinbad with a good challenge. But it may see you with a hard clear again. That ball looking to bounce in, and it does. Off of the crossbar, down and in. That ball was bouncing around a couple of different ways, but it found its way in, and UCM is going to be down 3-2 with... Just above 10 seconds left. That ball's going to find its way over to the blue side, but nothing going. Sinbad puts it in the middle. Donkers is up, and he puts that top 90. UCM gets it right back. 3-3 from a great pass from Sinbad and an immaculate finish from Donkers. This game, very exciting. 
like I said, once these teams find each other's weaknesses, find a lot of quick goals from both teams. Zero seconds, UCM looking to push this down. Dockers can't get it up, and we're headed to OT in game two. Very fast-paced, a couple of one-minute, one-minute-and-a-half stretches for both teams. Is a lot of goals, a lot of firepower coming out. That ball is a high clear. Somebody's going to have to get back for that for UCM off the backboard. Nobody can go. And MACU puts it high, but Donkers is there. Brooks going to play that. Can't get a touch. And MACU really has no pressure on this. Nobody challenges. Lonely Siegel goes, but a good play for UCM. Donkers playing that far post. Baiting out a touch. Just 30 seconds into this OT. MACU has a lot of pressure going. Sinbad misses, but Brooks there on a third man rotation. Donkers going to take this on the transition. Looks to have a 1v1. Might be able to beat him and get a pass over mid. Donkers takes it mid to over to Sinbad, but it's pinched. Going towards UCM net. Bruck is there, but misses the touch off the backboard. MACU puts it wide right, and that's a good challenge from Donkers and Sinbad to be back on the rotation. Very hard and very hard rotation to get back that quick on a ball that was going that fast. Lonely Siegel gets it played over him. UCM looking in. Sinbad puts a shot on net, but it's covered up. Nobody's found the back of the net in this overtime. But Donkers looking to get this going for UCM. Plays it past one, dribbles past two. Tries to bump the third man, but can't get it. Sinbad plays it back on the back pass, and Bruck misses. That whiff could have been bad had MACU been trying to extend and push. And once again, a couple of risky plays from UCM, but they come out unscathed in this OT. Bruck plays it to the middle. Might be a shot. That ball bounces in front of the net, but MACU is there. Sinbad once again. We see again this kind of slow-paced play. Both teams not overextending. They don't want to give up, obviously, that game-winning goal. This could be a big momentum game for UCM if they get this. Tie this series up. And series up. It's best of five. Sinbad puts a shot on net. Can't get it. Oh, he's backwards. Puts another one. That gets tipped, and that's in. That's a good momentum play and a good win for UCM. The series is going to be all tied up at one apiece. And here we're going to be right back with a word from our sponsors. Culver's is a proud sponsor of UCM Esports. Welcome to Delicious. At the college, you don't want a piece of paper. You want an opportunity. The opportunity to lead, to innovate, to transform. The opportunity to excel beyond what you thought possible. At the University of Central Missouri, your goals are achievable because we give you more support so your ambition faces fewer obstacles. Embrace your potential with the backing of one And just before we get into this third game, just going over a couple of things that we've seen from this series so far. A lot of great solo plays from everybody on UCM and some good aerial passing plays from MACU. It's all knotted up at one apiece, but UCM definitely with the momentum after that three-minute overtime went in their favor. A lot of good things to build off of going into game three. You got you know, a lot of good clears, a lot of good backboard play from Bruck and being the third man in that rotation. And Donkers with the flip reset, his mechanics do seem to be on point. And hopefully they can keep this throughout the entirety of the rest of the series. We're going to get ready for game three. As we get started, it's again one to one in this series. That ball is going to be going right towards the orange net, and that's going to be a kickoff goal. 1 0. A little bit of a mistouch, probably, for Sinbad. Tried to get that speed flip to get at the ball quicker, but it just didn't go in their favor. Skidded off the right side of his flat car, the Dominus he's using. Donkers are going to look to get it right back. Puts it into the center, but can't get it to go. Sinbad and Bruck were both waiting for a mistouch, but it never came. Scythe for MACU trying to bring that down. Can't get it, but Lonely Seagull's going to catch it. UCM definitely playing with a faster pace of play, and so is MACU. This game going a lot quicker. This game definitely going to look to be a little bit more fast-paced. Both teams starting to challenge a little bit more. Both teams starting to go to the air a little bit more. 
Definitely more physicality. We see a demo come out. Bruck looking for another one, but can't get it as Donkers puts a shot on. Sinbad follows quick and duck, or excuse me, Donkers turns quick and gets a shot. That's a great turn and a great shot for Donkers and a wonderful challenge on everybody's part for UCM. Bruck going in with a demo attempt to try and scare Scythe and MACU out of the net. UCM knots it up 1-1. We're only a minute into the game. Pace of play definitely picking up for both teams. Both teams mechanically sound, rotationally sound in this series, but both need to definitely build on the momentum they have and build on what they've done passing-wise. They may see you with a lot of good passes, as well as UCM. May see you looking to play at one back. Donkers trying to get back, but can't get it. That's a fast shot, and that's going to be 2-1 for MACU. Donkers on the rotation back third, man. That ball just got played a little bit too far in MACU's favor, and the ball was able to get slotted in. Slow play comes out. Bruck's there, not going for a flick, and he's looking to score that, and he puts it in. Bruck with a great early challenge on that flick attempt and just follows the ball right into the net. Finishes it home. Just going to go for this next kickoff, too. And UCM definitely trying to just hold their ground, keep keep that pace of play up, keep that speed and quickness up. With an MAC who's got going, that ball is going past Donkers, but Sinbad's there, and they play into the corner. A 1-2-1 one, one, looking for Sinbad and Donkers to go down the field. But MAC who's not having it. Bruck and Donkers both go. Bruck's going to follow this touch against Lonely Siegel. Both miss. Dogger's going to might might try and reset and get something going. Sinbad's up. Looks to put it down, but misses the touch. It may see you with a lot of time to clear this ball. Definitely the style is changing up in different ways throughout this match. We saw, obviously, the first game where the scoring didn't get going until about two, three minutes in. And now we see this game start off with two quick goals. Just a high-powered offense. That's a great pass and a wonderful challenge from Donkers to get that over to Sinbad and get UCM the lead right before halftime. UCM definitely starting to get their chemistry figured out within this match. Definitely had they had their rotations down, and they had them set and good. A double commit comes out there, and that's not going to be a good rotation as Lonely Siegel finishes that off, ties the game up, but... UCM definitely had their rotations and their synergy in correction with the exception of that play and, a, you know, just a few others. You know, there's been two double commits, but nothing they haven't been able to handle. They've been playing a very sound game, a very mechanical game. They just need to capitalize on these opportunities that they create. Donker slow plays it. He's going to go up the wall with this one. Might try and get an air dribble. Nobody's been challenging up in the air. A lot of just free... Free solo plays for Donkers, Sinbad, and anybody from MACU, whether it be Risku, uh, Lonely Seagull, or Scythe. That ball's going to go off the backboard. That's what UCM needs. That's going to be a shot on the net, and Donkers gets it home. Like I said earlier, that ball, when it goes off the backboard and that third man misses from the backboard, that's almost a guaranteed goal every time for the red team, for UCM Red. A wonderful follow from Donkers and a wonderful challenge to get that ball off of the backboard. 4-3 UCM. Let's see if they play a defensive game or if they try and pour it on. Definitely have the have the capacity to do both with Brooke rounding out that third man rotation. Have the ability with Donkers and Sinbad's passing plays that we so often see to definitely have a high high powered, high octane offense. And get it going for UCM. Sinbad takes us down the field 1v 1v2 and gets it past both, but Risku is going to take that for MACU. And play the pass two. And defense is holding strong for UCM. They don't seem to be overcommitting any too much. Bruck covering up the goal, but just wide left for MACU on a good shot. Could have been dangerous. It's a missed challenge. But UCM kind of just turtling up. Putting a, putting a little bit of pressure on to close this game out. Just under a minute left. Donkers with a good beat on that challenge. He might look to solo play this one. Passes it over to Bruck. Bruck misses, but he's going to play that to Sinbad. Sinbad could go in the air. Like I said, nobody's been challenging. He's going to have a free ball. But Lonely Seagull goes off of the backboard for MACU. And Donkers waits out the touch. 
And MACU not extending enough, in my own opinion, to get anything, any shots going in their favor. UCM is going to be definitely able and willing to just hold on to this ball if MACU is going to sit in the blue half and let this time run out. UCM looking to take this 2-1 two, lead in the series, and it looks like that's good. that ball is going to bounce straight down, and that will be the game. Industries is a proud sponsor of UCM Esports, a family owned and operated business. Culver's is a proud sponsor of UCM Esports. Welcome to Delicious. And as we get back into this next game, UCM looking to finish this match off up 2-1 in the series. MACU wasn't able to put any shots on the net after UCM took that lead going into the final minute, and they didn't extend any pressure. UCM very willing to just take that game. Simbad misses the ball. MACU is going to have a little bit of pressure, but it's going to be clear to the left. UCM going to try and find their rotation. Coming out of that pressure, get a big clear. It's a good bump from Sinbad. That's going to give Bruck a free ball to clear. And UCM's going to look to turn this script around. Donkers comes in on the challenge. That ball's going to go straight down. Risku's going to play that. But Bruck with a great rotation, a great early turn to keep that ball in the blue half. UCM, like I said, looking to close out this series. Might even be looking to be fa fancy while they do it. Bruck misses the challenge, but Sinbad demos the second man in the rotation. That's definitely not going to open up any true opportunities except off of a miss for UCM. UCM not too worried. All three players seem to be all having boost, all in line with what they want to do as a team. That methodical pace of play that they like so much. That 1-2-1 one, one between Simbad and Donkers and Bruck following up when he needs to, playing great defense off the back wall, doing everything that the team needs. Sinbad's looking to follow that double touch. Almost had the read. That ball went straight down, and it was a hard a hard ball going right down, but Sinbad couldn't read it. UCM still with a couple of boost steals. Good flick from Lonely Seal, uh, Seagull. Excuse me. Can't get any pressure to go. Donkers takes that to the left side. Risku's there. Sinbad's going to play this. It's about three minutes left. In this game for this series. So again, that slow pace of play that we've been seeing is kind of back. A little bit more of the aerial play. We can see MACU put this ball in. A little bit more of the aerial play coming out in this game. That ball has been bouncing around the wall a lot. It hasn't been playing into the into the infield or midfield as much as we have seen in the in the previous games. Definitely both teams looking to counter what he what all three players are doing from either team. Good aerial challenge. Bruck's going to look to challenge that and gets the save. Close one. MACU's been putting a lot, a lot of pressure on these past minute. But they're, that, all three are going to extend. Let's see if Simbad can get, back, get there and score it. Gets demoed. Can't find it. Ball's going to try and stay in the blue half. UCM needs to get something. That ball's rolling towards it. Rolling towards the blue net. But nothing going. A lot of early challenges. Donker, Donkers and Sinbad. Always looking to get there, and just as anybody is, before MACU can get a touch. And obviously you're looking to play that ball maybe into the corner, maybe off the backboard to get those one two ones that we talk about. Risku plays a pass two on the flick. The Honkers waits it out, though. Bruck plays that to the left, see if anybody's there for UCM. Can't get it. Lonely Seagull has a 2v1, gets a good flick. That's off the backboard. Could be good for MACU, but a great clear from Donkers and a great read to get that ball redirected out of the midfield. Now he could be going solo. 
Sinbad tries to get a bump on one. And that ball is just going to roll in. Sinbad plays kind of a bump play on the backboard. And that might have had a miscommunication for MACU. A wonderful heads-up play by Sinbad to see that. Slow shot from Donkers goes in, something you usually probably wouldn't see in a game like this. Players of this caliber. Nonetheless, UCM will take that goal 1-1. Minute and a half left. Are UCM to win this series or MACU to tie it all up? That ball staying in the blue half, but a big clear comes out. Sinbad plays it off the corner. It's over to Risku. They go for the bump in net. But they can't get it. Bruck once again up for the save. That ball is going to get played. Sinbad with a good challenge. Bruck has been solidifying that third man role for UCM this whole match. A couple of misses, but the only misses he's had have been totally fine within the, within the context of UCM's rotation. That ball is a great challenge. Donkers and Bruck both back on that challenge to get the save. And a wonderful goal line stop. UCM is holding the line on this. Like I said, those rotations and just that defense that UCM has been able to play once they get the lead has been very well, very well executed and well thought out. Bruck can't clear it all the way he wants, no boost, but he picks up the big orb. And UCM trying to keep that pressure on. 30 seconds left in the match. Let's see if this match is going to go to overtime or if Donkers is going to finish that off of the backboard. He won't because of that challenge, that early challenge from MACU. Lonely Seagull takes it. Sinbad's there. Bruck plays it. This could be a good transition for UCM, but they get a good challenge. Donkers with a good midfield challenge. Two not really back for MACU. Ten seconds left. Sinbad chasing. Scythe can't go. Bruck plays in the midfield. Donkers might try and take this up the wall. Plays it over in the corner. Lonely Seagull's there. We could be headed to overtime. No, Sinbad keeps it up off the pinch. Rick Sue goes. See what MACU wants to do. They keep it up, but... MACU, not a whole lot of boost. Donkers plays it in the air. This could be the game. Let's see what he's got. Can't get it to go in the top 90. A wonderful air dribble, but just short, MACU was there. We're headed overtime. You see him trying to win this match. Sinbad's going to take this one. Can't get it to fall. Just left to the net. Once again, those rotations are coming out, and Bruck looking for his own shot. It's right over to Donkers. UCM has a lot of pressure. Donkers gets a flip reset just wide left. Sinbad's going to play this back, let his rotation come to him. Scythe tries to get a shot, and that's going to be over to Risku. Can't get it to go. Donkers plays it to Sinbad. Sinbad go for looking for the redirect, and that's going to go in. UCM's going to win the match 3-1, and what a wonderful passing play from Donkers and Sinbad to get that game to go. Imagine opportunity. Got it? Good. Now pursue it. Choose the right college to cultivate it. Discover your passion, your talent. Now share it, embrace it, go global. Find support, network, build your team. Set a goal, work hard, achieve it. Be proud of yourself, celebrate it. Discover UCM, discover opportunity in action. And that wonderful passing play from Donkers and Sinbad to win that match just the epitome of what that team was doing in this this time around against MACU. Wonderful rotations, that I, as I've been saying all match. Wonderful passing plays. A lot of aerial mechanics coming out from Donkers with two flip resets. Couldn't get that last one to fall, but still a lot of pressure was built from those just great aerial mechanics. Bruck Danger playing on that backboard and doing everything he can, saving a lot of shots. Wonderful goal line stops from Donkers with the help of Bruck Danger on that challenge. And just overall, great pace of play, great reading, great understanding and knowledge of the game to get that win for UCM Red. We're going to check our player of the game out. And our player of the game is going to be Donkers, the captain of this team, the aerial wizard of this team, and mostly the pressure man of this team. You know, obviously he can't do it without his teammates, but the things that he does do on the solo plays opens up a lot of, a lot of pathways and a lot of different options for his teammates like Sinbad and like Bruck to follow in suit and finish off his wonderful goals, wonderful passes. And just a great overall showing from UCM Red. That's exactly what you like to see. Once again, that's 3-1 over MACU. Before we head out of here, I'd like to make sure that 
Everybody knows about the UCM eSports application. That is now live and is due by April 30th at midnight if you want to be considered for a starting position on that team. Once again, the application for the UCM eSports program is now live. you got to turn that in by April 30th at midnight if you want to be considered for a starting spot on UCM's eSports teams. We thank you, and we just want to thank our sponsors. This post-game show is presented by Taylor Industries. We also want to thank our sponsor, Culver's, for all that they do. And we hope you enjoyed. We will see you next time. Stay safe.